Welcome to our podcast. I'm Stacey Donadio. And I'm Shannon Fasson from Turnkey Women, where we're opening doors for women in business. Cheers. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Turnkey Women's Alliance podcast. And we have some really special guests here at the Mammoth Moms event at Bell Works. My name's Julia Calamia, and I go to Barcalo. Where's Barcalo? In Freehold. Uh, my name is Juliana, and I go to Barcalo in Freehold, too. Amazing. My name's Mahi, and I also go to Barcalo Middle School in Freehold. And our special guest. Say your name. I'm, hi, I'm Leila, and I go to the Tom's River, and my school name is Hooper Huskies. And Stacy and I have a women in business development and networking group, and we saw you guys sitting across from us, and we looked at each other and said, we need to know these girls. We need to know these girls. And these we girls are going to be it. They are our future. We have a hashtag. That you tell us, Stace. It's called the future is female. Isn't that awesome? Isn't the future female? <laughs> and I wanted you girls to tell us what you have going on. And I, I believe Mahi, you're our spokesperson. Yeah. Spokeswoman. Yeah. So we're creating a women's history museum exhibit at a museum called Info Age and Wall. Um, basically, it was Fort Monmouth, where the military base was during World War II, and they turned it into a museum called Info Age. It was where the radio telegraph by Marconi was invented, and we're very lucky to be creating a museum exhibit there with Professor Melissa Ziobro from Monmouth University. So what is your favorite part about this project so far? That we get to learn about women who like were never in history, and we get to learn how they helped us in different ways. That's a great answer. And when are you going to be done with this? So when can everybody come and see your awesome exhibit? Do you guys know when you're going to be able uh, to show it to everyone? Probably sometime in the summer. Oh, the summer. Wow. Now, there was something else at the table, I believe I saw. And it was something that was very heartfelt and very special. And I would love for you to tell us, if you would, Juliana, what you're doing. Um, so my cousin had, like, cancer. And then my family had ordered some special hospital gowns because um, the hospital gowns in the hospital were like dull colors. So they had ordered her some Disney print hospital gowns. Mm. So I had learned how to sew. So I learned how to sew. Like, and then I remembered like the hospital gowns weren't the nicest. So I wanted to sew hospital gowns for kids like her who are fighting in the hospital. That is absolutely amazing, and I know that all of the kids that get to wear those cool hospital gowns get to put a smile on their face in times that is probably really tough, right? Yeah. So you're doing all this great stuff in the community. Juliet, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a doctor. A doctor? What kind? Do you know? No, I'm like maybe like a pediatrician. Do you know what you want to be, Juliana? Uh, maybe a doctor too. Really? I love this group. Yes, girl. Go for it, girl. Yes. What about you, Mahi? Are you going to be on the news telling us everything that we need to know, or do you have a different <laughs> vision for yourself? Honestly, I've been maybe a physical therapist. That's oh. always been something that I wanted to do because. Like, I get a lot of injuries as I play sports, and it's, like, something that, it's really helpful, because it helps, like, even normal people after they get surgery, like, they, it helps them walk, and it's just a really cool profession. Another science girl. This is incredible. This is what we need. What is it that you want to be when you grow up? Um, maybe also a doctor or a nurse, because every time when someone gets hurt in my family, I'm always there to kind of, like, heal them and help them out. Too. Yeah. We need more women in those fields. We need women doctors. We need women nurses because you girls are incredible and you are the future. And we thank all of you at this exhibit. We can't wait to see what you guys have going on and keep up those special gowns. That's amazing. Thank, thank you, you girls thank you. so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you for having us. Thanks. All right.